Hello everyone and welcome back to another bike tech video here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Matteo Trentin's UAE Team Emirates team bike and of course they're riding on Colnagos as usual. Matteo Trentin is one of UAE Team Emirates best riders in the classics and has a very boastful Palmares consisting even of three stage wins in the Tour de France plus he was also the European champion on the road. He has been with UAT Emirates since 2021 and of course this year he's already picked up a victory in Lissam. But anyways today we're going to look at the Colnago V3 RS, the bike that UAT Emirates have been riding all this year. One exciting feature to notice already with the bike differently from last year is that the team are using the Pirelli tires in 2022 and 2023 and they vary between the P0 Race TLR or the clincher tires and even the lightweight P0 Tub SL tubulars. Matteo Trentin's group set on the bike is the Campagnolo Super Record and we can also see the pedals that he's using are the look pedals and his saddle is from Prolog and is the Scratch M5 Pass weighing in at 201 grams when fitted with the Tyrox rail. The wheel set here on Trentin's bike is the Campagnolo Chamol carbon disc brake which is different from the Bora 1 Campagnolo wheel set that he has used for several races. The Chamol Campagnolo wheel set was first made in 1992 and it's dedicated to endurance and this wheel set has a 21 millimeter internal channel as well. They are carbon rim with an undirectional finish and differentiated front and rear profile, modern rounded profile and new aluminium hubs. They also use the G3 spoke pattern with 24 spokes in total for both the front and the rear. Campagnolo claims that the wheel set weighs a total of 1,585 grams. And if you're looking to buy this, incidentally, it is priced at 1,395 euros. Anyways, moving on to the frame. The frame of the bike is the Colnago V3 RS designed which has an extremely clean design and of course boasts a unique aerodynamic profile and qualities together with an unprecedented lightness as well for the frame. The main geometric features are the shorter head tube. According to Colnago, the main geometric features of this frame is the shorter head tube, the longer forks and a greater balance across all eight size options. In total, the frame weighs 790 grams for the raw disc version and in order to do this Colnago used a new type of carbon fiber to significantly increase the rigidity to lateral flexion. The B3RS compared to the older version has 12% higher rigidity in the rear compartment and 6% in the front head tube area according to Colnago. Its ability to absorb vertical shocks has improved significantly which translates into greater comfort for the rider and in this particular material tantin. The forks of the frame is much lighter as well compared to the older version of the frame, the V2R. Its raw weight corresponds to about 390 grams according to Colnago and the TFS is integrated steerer thread included. The shape with the concave sheaves in the upper part optimizes the wheel passage allowing for the use of wide tires and of course the bike follows the trend of the current peloton of having the cables pass entirely internally to the Colnago SR9 stem and then through the fork steerer and this means that the frame is very clean looking and also improves on the aerodynamic performance of the bike and lastly one of the features as well to note is the seat post closure the locking system is smaller compared to the V2R and the C64 integrated into the frame and allows a greater modulation in tightening and has been one of the things that Colnago have focused a lot on in order to decrease the overall weight. So anyways, that's basically it for this little quick tour around Matteo Trentin's bike. Hope you've enjoyed it and of course there's going to be more pro bikes on the channel. So do like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will see you around. Thank you.